Hey there guys, John Wise here with Comageddon. Um, whew, damn it, folks. <laughs> um, so, I wanted to kind of go over uh, my thoughts on um, what's going on with the uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi trailers and everything. So, um, here we go. Okay, so, um, of course, if you haven't seen any of the uh, Star Wars The Last Jedi uh, trailers, um, you probably shouldn't be watching those because I'm probably going to be giving some spoilers from those um, <coughs> uh, here on the reviews and everything on my point of view video. But, uh, okay, so last night during the final game of the World Series, they had aired the uh, newest uh, minute long trailer for The Last Jedi, and we've got a lot of footage that we had never seen before, including what uh, appears to be um, Rey looking down on a defeated uh, Luke Skywalker, uh, to where in previous trailers he says, this is not going to turn out as you think. Uh, well, now it kind of looks like maybe... Ray and Luke were battling, and he's trying to convince her not to go to the dark side. That's what I get out of this. Um, I also get that the inner turmoil on Kylo Ren between going light and going dark is still very strong there, even after he killed his father, Han Solo. Um, so, the big consensus right now, just go, judging by the trailers, is that um, Kylo Ren's going to go to the light side, and Ray is going to go to the dark side so kind of a swap which would be cool it'd be an interesting twist for the for the trilogy for the, for the new trilogy uh it had never really been done in the way that it looks like they're going to do uh we had seen uh anakin go from the light side to the dark side and that very end go back to the light side to save his son luke but the, nothing really came out of it you know i mean he, he died he, he did he did um he did redeem himself he saved his son and he died so, what I would like to see is I would like to see Ray kind of shift towards that dark side, but then come back and stay with the light side, and then Kylo Ren come to the light side, and Luke actually has his former student and his new student, and then they in the third trilogy. Uh, it's all about Kylo uh, trying to redeem himself. And what is that, episode 9? <coughs> so it would be kind of see, nice to see him redeem himself and... Um, and the, and the three, Luke, Ray, and uh, Kylo, have to face the Order and Snoke. And which means we're going to have to get an even bigger baddie for the third part of this trilogy. Um, so that would be a nice little twist. Um, something to keep in mind is, is always the Star Wars films have always been about the Skywalkers. Which is why I'm still heavily, heavily, heavily swaying towards Rey being a Skywalker. I know it's cliche to think that. I know everybody's like, she's a Kenobi. She's this, she's that. Um, I think if she's not a Skywalker, I think she's definitely going to be a Solo. I think she's going to be an illegitimate child of Han Solo. <coughs> uh, which would explain the huge, strong connection between her and Han in The Force Awakens. Um, I think Leia's going to sense this. Um, so... It's, it's, it's going to be nuts. It's going to be crazy. I think this is going to be... Uh, a lot of fans didn't like Force Awakens. I absolutely loved The Force Awakens. But I think this is going to redeem... Uh, redeem that for, for those who didn't like Force Awakens. I think they're going to come into this. I think they're really going to like this one. I'm really excited. I'm really hot, pop, hyped up. I can't wait. Uh, let's see. We also have Finn and uh, Phasma getting ready to go head to head. We see them going head to head in the trailer. I'm very much looking forward to seeing just how badass of a Captain Phasma is, because when I first saw Phasma in the action figure form and, uh, and everything, promos for uh, Force Awakens, I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. She's going to be like the new, the new Bubba Fett. Only to find out that wasn't the case. Force Awakens, she was taken out very easily. So, uh, so hopefully, again, this movie, I think this movie is going to be all about um, the course of re redeeming things that people didn't like in the last one. So I think we're going to get a more uh, badass Phasma. Uh, we're definitely going to go, we're going to see Finn go from that uh, 
kind of, I don't want to do this. I'm just, I want to leave. I don't want anything to do with it. Like he was in Force Awakens and hinting at the beginning of this movie that I think he's just going to, he's going to come into his own. He's going to be the hero that we all really want him to be, even though he was kind of that close to being that hero when he was fighting Kylo Ren. So I think, I think we're, we're really going to get uh, a lot more character building with this new movie. Definitely. I don't want Luke to die. Because we obviously we have to have Leia leave this movie with the untimely death of um, an unfortunate death of uh, Carrie Fisher. Um, we need another character, original character, original trilogy character to stick around. So I don't think Luke's going to be leaving. I think Luke, I think Mark, Mark Hamill, I think has already hinted he's going to be involved in the uh, in episode nine. Um, also going as far as saying that Leia's part was supposed to be even bigger in the ninth movie, that that's where she was supposed to shine. That's really sad we're not going to see that in the uh, next movie. But I don't think, I think we're going to see um, Leia, I don't know if we're going to see her die, but we're definitely going to have to see her part ways somehow with the franchise, whether um, she gets called away to a new planet and uh, becomes their leader or something, uh, or they just, they, they, they have her die heroically. Um, trying to save Kylo Ren, her son. Um, I don't think they're going to kill Luke. Again, the, the Star Wars movies have always been about the Skywalkers. The prequel trilogy was about Anakin Skywalker becoming Vader. Uh, the, the, the original trilogy was all about Luke Skywalker and him on his journey and becoming a Jedi and, of course, him trying to redeem Anakin throughout, throughout, throughout the series. So this has always been about the Skywalkers. Again, that's another reason why I kind of think Kylo Ren is going to go from dark side to light side at some point, if not in this movie, the next movie, and actually try to redeem himself. Uh, maybe Luke does die, and he tries to carry on the Skywalker legacy. Maybe maybe Rey does kill Luke, and this is what brings Kylo Ren back to the light side, and now in the next movie he has to face Rey, uh, who has now joined the dark side as with Snoke. So it's really going to be interesting to see what happens. I'm looking, I'm looking forward. To it. I really, really am. So, um, but there, there we go. There, there's my thoughts on the new, uh, the new um, trailers we've seen, the new previews, everything we know about the movie so far. Um, what do you think? Let me know. Uh, comment down below. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to uh, Come Again TV. We all we welcome everybody, so please come again as when all geek culture collides. So please feel free to uh, let us know your thoughts. So and until next time, thank you for watching.